What's good, bro? It's Rob Wavy. Today, we're gonna make a sort of melodic pain beat for artists such as Polo G and Lil Durk. Do me a favor, if you've been enjoying the content, hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss a video. Also, if you want 10 high quality loops in your inbox every week, go ahead and hit that link in the description to join my weeklies. It's definitely worth your time. All right, with that, let's get into it. All right, so the key of this sample is in B minor. I'm at 164 BPM. Let's get a full thing to listen. So as you can hear, there's a lot of movement in this sample. That's really good for these kind of artists. It keeps it interesting. I'm gonna show you how I made it. All right, so I started with this Noir Pure Piano. Here's the MIDI for that. So if you wanted to make something like this, you take the root note and the fifth, which is F sharp, then play some notes on top of those two and arpeggiate it. Then for the second half, took the B, dropped it down to G, which is like a normal progression in these. Then you can just take these notes, drag them over, take them up five, one, two, three, four, five, drop it down to octave. Boom. So what I decided to do is take these top notes and change them just to make the loop a little bit more interesting. Next thing I added was a tap faster lead out of Evolution Infinity. I turned the pitch range up to 20 so you can get those pitch bands. Here's what that sounds like. All right, so for effects on that, I have this EQ. I want to cut out some lows and some highs. I want it to be kind of in the background. Delay, turn the time knob up to eight and I turn the mix really low. Some Fruity Flanger, it's on the default preset. Good old Fruity Chorus, so on the default preset. I just turn the mix down for those last two. And a lot of reverb. Turn the low cut up so you don't have those lows muddying up the mix. Turn the mix up to about 83%. because I really want it washed out in the background. Next, I layered the piano with an electric piano from Expand. This is the Mark II. It's the first one in the e-piano section. All right, so for effects on that, if you've been watching me, you know on e-pianos, I gotta put spaced out. I have it on the clean start preset, which is the default. I actually didn't switch it this time, you know what I'm saying? Gotta try something new every once in a while. Then I have this EQ cutting out the lows and dipping out some of the highs. Next thing I added was this organ. This is vintage organ, so I have it on the basic gospel too. Here's what it sounds like. So for effects on that, I just have a little bit of reverb, turning the K down and the mix down. And I also panned it to the right by 37%. All right, so next thing I added was this vocal out of RK. This is from the Distant Voices Bank. This is Seigaku. Seigaku. Here's what it sounds like. All right, so boom. The first effect I have is this EQ. I have this on the old telephone preset. A little free delay on the widened preset. I just turn the mix down. Good amount of reverb on it, just to make it more washed out. So fruity love filter, I have it on the simple low pass preset. I change this modulation knob over here and I turned it down, down and to the left a little bit. And there's a fruity stereo enhancer on the four strings preset because it makes it wider in the mix. All right, so the last thing I added was this bass. All 
and that's how you make melodic pain loops for artists like Paul G and Lil Durk. You know what? Let's throw some drums on this. So with that, that's the whole video. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you learned something. Make sure you join my weeklies if you haven't already. Bye. Peace.